Well, welcome back. We're going to get started now with our award ceremony. And for today, award ceremony and conference closing. So what we've got coming up now is we're going to start with the undergraduate poster and the Humanistic Exemplar Award. And then um, Sandy Seela Smith Humanistic Exemplar Award. After that, we're going to do our book and gift certificate drawing. Um, so be sure and stick around after the awards for that and the conference closing. And I will try and put up again in here um, the with the awards recipients um, the little the links for um, being able to send your congratulations to Saba and to Nathaniel here. Um, it's a Google Doc. You can just click on the link and go ahead and type it in the um, your congratulation on there. And these we will then uh, get to all of our awards recipients as well. So to, to begin our first award, I would like to introduce Dr. Luis Vargas, who is going to present the Student Poster Award. Dr. Vargas is one of our esteemed board members with the Rocky Mountain Humanistic Counseling and Psychological Association and is a professor at Regis University um, and just an all around wonderful human being. And so really um, glad to have Luis on our board. He's an extremely popular uh, professor at, at Regis. I know that to, it heard from a number of his students how much they, they just think the world of him. So we're, we're glad to have um, someone with such a uh, great accomplishments as a professor able to to give um, our undergraduate poster award. So with that, Luis, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Luis. I uh, appreciate your introduction. You might be on mute, Luis. How about now? I'm not here. Are others hearing Luis? Yes, yes, we can hear him. Yes, we can hear him. Huh, well. Is see. it okay to proceed? Um, Helen and Bob, Bob Edelstein, I, I see your picture there. Are you able to hear Luis when he talked? You are, you're able to hear Luis? Oh, okay, so maybe it's just Nathaniel and I for some reason. Uh, go ahead, Luis. All right. Well, um, I have noticed that there's an uptick in the number of participants um, uh, who are on board now. And so I thought it'd be uh, good to welcome all the folks who joined us to uh, witness this uh, award ceremony. Um, your presence is invaluable. It's now my honor to present the undergraduate uh, poster award. This um, award distinguishes between the seasoned educator who generally aims to give information and the motivated undergraduate student who is more intent on getting information, which can often result in novel inquiry. This conference's undergraduate poster award goes to Adnan Mughal and Fiona Zalushinga for their poster titled the um, the benefits of a daily personal growth practice, which not only has a novel inquiry, but shows a sophisticated and sustained drive for gathering information. Congratulations, Adnan and Fiona. I can say, uh... Uh, Adnan is here, and um, I don't know if he needs to unmute his mic or what have you, but he is present uh, on the Zoom. All right. Thank you so much for the award. Without a doubt, well earned. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, thank you, congratulations. Um, 
we I think we've got our sound back working here, but it uh, wasn't working for a second, so we didn't hear that presentation. But but congratulations, uh, and I'm really very pleased to grant you the award. And I'll I'll be reaching out to you afterwards. We'll send you the, the certificate and, uh, and the other portion of the award as well. So you know, you know, Sounds good. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, unmute. Uh, you can leave it unmute. Uh, let me. If, if, whoops. Uh -oh. A few technical issues here, so I'm uh, trying to make sure this will pick up through Nathaniel's. Can everyone hear me okay? Okay. We're going to move on then to our, um, let me do something here quick, our, our next award recipient is, uh, is Saba Islam, whoops, let me, Okay, I apologize for all kinds of technical issues here at the awards. Okay, so very pleased uh, to be presenting the uh, the next award to Saba Islam, the student uh, the U.S. Exemplar Awards for the students. I'm very pleased to uh, to introduce Saba Islam as a student recipient of the Humanistic Exemplar Award. The Humanistic Exemplar Award is awarded to individuals who exemplify the lived ideals of humanistic psychology in their life, professional work, and their contributions as a student or professional. In RMHCPA's, in RMHCPA's understanding of humanistic psychology, we believe that social justice, the human dignity of all people, advocacy and activism, empathy, compassion, meaning, and courage are among the core humanistic values. I see this award as one of the most meaningful awards in all of humanistic psychology, not just RMHCPA, because it is about living the values. Although Saba has many impressive accomplishments for this part point in her career, this award is about much more than that. If you attended Saba's powerful presentation today, it should already be evident, more than evident, why she was selected to win this award. This presentation was not just about this presentation, not just about humanistic psychology, it embodies humanistic psychology at its best. Saba allowed me to read the presentation before the conference. After reading the presentation, I told Saba that after over 20 years of attending numerous conferences a year and being an avid reader of the professional literature. I still enjoy many presentations, but it's not often that I feel really gripped and inspired by them. But I was with Saba. This presentation shows vulnerability, courage, honesty in her narrative, thoughtful connection with the theory of humanistic and existential psychology, as well as multicultural psychology and solid application. It is rare for presentations, even by seasoned professionals, to excel with all three of these. Saba, as you go off to internship soon, we hope you stay connected with humanistic psychology and with our CPA because we believe you have something special to offer your clients, your colleagues, the profession, and the world beyond. We hope to continue to support you in these endeavors. And I know our organization would benefit from your being connected with us as well. I know, Saba, you have wondered about what you did to deserve this award, but I think that is a testament to why you deserve it. I know, too, that many others around you do not question it at all, and it was quite evident by the responses today. They readily recognize that this is a well-earned award. Thank you, Saba, for all that you do. And congratulations on um, receiving the, the Humanistic Exemplar Award. 
I don't know if I'm supposed to say anything, but I feel obligated to thank you, um, Dr. Hoffman, for naming all of those pieces and um, like sharing your personal impact and experience of our work together. Um, it's just kind of bizarre and disorienting where if you listen to my presentation before, being immersed in a culture and in systems that um, kind of beat you down and, and uh, make you question your worth and your intelligence and what you have to contribute and then to come into a space where you feel so celebrated and, and valued is amazing and um, very disorienting um, <laughs> and emotional. I'm feeling very emotional um, for a lot of different reasons, but um, thank you all. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> Do you happen to have the award with you there? I do. I have it right here. Oh, great. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you all so much. It's, it's very. All right. Yes. And um, there, there, you do have a few more minutes if you want it all, but if you're, if you're good, you're. That, that's fine too. You good? Okay. Yes. Many congratulations once again. And um, Sava is our, our first recipient of the, the Student Humanistic Exemplar Award. And I think a perfect person to be our first recipient of this award. And again, please, uh, the link should be in the chat as well as on the screen here. Please leave your congratulations for Saba on the, the Google form and also for Nathaniel. We'll move on to Nathaniel, uh, who will be receiving uh, the Sandy Sela Smith Humanistic Exemplar Award. This is an award that we give a, a student version and a, and a professional version of it. And last year, Sandy Sela Smith was the first recipient of this award. And um, as most of you probably know, Sandy Sela Smith, over this last year, she, she uh, passed away of cancer. And so she's no longer with us. But um, she was, it was our first recipient of this award, and we, we named it after her. And so Nathaniel will be uh, the second recipient. I'm very touched to be introducing Nathaniel Granger as a recipient of the Sandy Sela Smith Humanistic Exemplar Award. In addition to being a very close colleague who I regularly collaborate with, Nathaniel has become uh, my closest friend and is to me family. Most of you are familiar with Nathaniel's professional contributions, which are extremely impressive. Beginning in graduate school, he has been a regular recipient of various awards. However, this award goes beyond professional accomplishments. I do not know anyone who gives more of themselves to serve others than Nathaniel. Most of these activities are things that few others know about because he does not do it for any recognition. He does the acts of service and compassion because they are the right thing to do, and he does it because it is who he is. I do not have time to list all that he does, but let me provide a couple examples. For many years, Nathaniel worked with people experiencing homelessness, providing them with food and resources, advocating for them, and at times, helping them find a place to stay. But more importantly, Nathaniel treats these people experiencing homelessness with dignity. He looks them in the eye, greets them warmly, and has real conversations with them. He embodies humanizing homelessness. Nathaniel is regularly called upon when people experience the death of the family. I can't count the number of times I've spoken with Nathaniel on the phone while he was on his way to comfort a family following a loss. He doesn't just stop by, he is with them. He's also been there for people who have ended up in trouble, including going to jail, whether a person is experiencing homelessness, the loss of a loved one, or struggling as a person in jail. Nathaniel always offers empathy and treats these people with the same dignity, compassion, and love that he treats his clients, his students, his colleagues, and almost everyone who comes into contact with him. 
But these softer expressions of humanistic values are only a few examples of Nathaniel living these values. He also demonstrates courage in confronting injustices when people are not treated with dignity and respect. He is not afraid to express the hard edge of humanistic and existential psychology, even though he is aware of the risks that come with this. So please join me in honoring uh, Nathaniel Granger, one of the most caring and compassionate people I've ever met. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, it's hard for me to um, find the word in that I would rather be on the giving end of the award it's easier for me to give give it than to 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 receive it and uh, and i am very very humbled uh, very 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 grateful uh, first question came to my mind with even the thought of this award was uh, i uh, was an exc exclamation but I didn't do anything. You, you got to give that to somebody who <laughs> did something spectacular. Uh, but one thing I have found that in this field, you can you can publish articles and, and books. You can you can give presentations. Stick your chest out. Declare I am a humanistic psychotherapist. In fact, narcissism is quite high in our field. But I just really believe in my heart that the greatest thing you can do is to touch the heart of another human being. And everything that, that I strive to do even if I leave here, if I leave here tomorrow, I just uh, I hope and I pray that I've made life somewhat better for some other human. And I just say thank you. Thank you guys for your support. Lewis, thank you so very much for being my friend. When we do everyday greatness, as I think. Saba and the family do, you know, advocating for others and advocating for social justice and advocating for compassion and showing the courageousness to be vulnerable. When we do it because that's who we are, that's that's exactly what this award is intended to represent. And when we do everyday greatness like this, it's common that I think the people doing it don't recognize it because it's just what they do. It's just another day. But those around recognize that it's something special. They feel that it's something special. They see that it's something special and they're touched by it. So I think it's perfect that both Nathaniel and Saba question the worthiness, while I think the rest of us <laughs> have no doubt in our mind of the worthiness. And yeah. I've been a part of a lot of debates about awards with the Society for Humanistic Psychology and elsewhere. And one of the things that I deeply believe in awards is that part of what they're to do is to empower people to continue to do the work that they're doing. It's because they're doing important work. Sava and Nathaniel are doing important work that's changing the world. And if we as an organization, as RMHCPA, can do something to nurture them in that and to support that and to give a platform to spread that further, you know, our organization is doing something great. I believe that Sala and the family really are showing the values that we want to live in the world as an organization. So appreciate both of you 
really very much. And I think it's a, a wonderful way to end a, a great day of conference, a very emotional day of conference by the warden. So maybe uh, we can, everyone can unmute for just a moment and we can share in our, our applause and hoots and whatever else we want to do to, to honor our, award, our three award recipients. Well, one thing that I, I would say is they say uh, in church that it's not so much how much you love, you stick your chest out. It's not how much you love, it's how much you are loved. And you guys are very loved. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Yeah.